so today I am making a flannel sheets scented soap for my son who wants to give it to his teacher and I'm using these little kitty embeds that I made in a silicone mold just a minute and I'll show you show them to you um, all right and I forgot my huge pan <clears throat> My stick blender in. Okay, so I'm gonna blend this to trace. All right, so that's looking pretty good. All right, let me get my saran wrap on here and then we'll have a discussion about why. So there seems to be some questions and I will answer your questions about why. So we're gonna let this sit and it's gonna start cooking itself. This is called hot process, stick blender hot process, okay? So you can see this chemical reaction and it's called volcanoing. And um, now I'm gonna take my stick blender and I'm going to whiz it again. The spoon but the stick blender just gets, gets the reaction going quicker okay. so now I'm going to cover it up and let it bubble up again cook itself again out heat okay because it's creating its own heat and right now it is at 214 degrees. So this is hot, so be careful. Don't mess around with, you know, when the kids are around and stuff. So you can see how it's starting to turn. <clears throat> you like my mug, huh? Um, who was that, Iron? <laughs> That's funny. How long does the soap last? Tammy, years. Years and years. I mean, literally, this would probably last 100 years. Um, there's soap that they have found in places that's 100 years old that's still good, so. I have some that I bought at an amusement park, Silver Dollar City, that I still have and I bought it 10 years ago and it's still good. It does shrink because it evaporates more water, but it's still good. Okay, all right, so now we're getting to the point where it's going to keep bubbling. Now, see how it looks like mashed potatoes? This is called the mashed potato stage. Um, let's see. Mom got the link for the cookbook. Thank you, Mom. Let's see. Does it have a strong odor? No, not unless you add your fragrance. Now, when you put your lye first into your water, it's pretty strong, so you can do it outside or just stand back when you're stirring. <clears throat> All right, we're looking good, looking good. I'm gonna mix it with the blender here again. how that's forcing it to bubble again. Yep, 
Yeah, don't let me forget my fragrance, guys. Good grief. i got to put it in after it's done here. Okay, stirring it back down again. This is called mashed potato stage. And you can see how it's turning to applesauce stage. And then when it's to Vaseline looking, then your soap is completely cooked and done and safe to use after it's cooled. Now, I forgot my yogurt and my coconut milk, so let me grab that real quick. So you put yogurt and coconut milk in it after it's done doing its thing because that helps make it more liquid. And And this is just regular yogurt at the store. You can use any kind you want. Just gonna microwave it there. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna stir it down. Just one more time. Good. You can see on the bottom it looks like Vaseline that is already soaked. So we're going to let it sit for just a minute more and finish. All right, let me check. Um, yes, one stick of blender is usually enough, Christy, uh, for whatever you want to do for soaping. How many bars does this make? This makes um, five pounds of soap, which is about 16 bars. Um, what tea am I drinking? I am drinking Red Rose. Mm. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. Um, yeah, it just depends on how big you cut the jars, bars. Jamie says 17 bars. I get 16 because I cut mine slightly bigger. Just depends. Or a couple of samples. Um... What's relax? Am I relaxing mixing, making soap? Okay. Yeah, mom's right. Making soap is actually no more dangerous than frying something on the stove. Um, it, you know, using hot oils is really, really dangerous. And I would almost venture to say cooking with oil is more dangerous than soap. But, um, you know, you just need to be careful. You don't need to be afraid, but you need to be cautious. So, you know, yeah. All right, so we're almost there. All right, Wendy, you can make soap. Yes, um, you can. Um, here's the container where my soaps are, or I mean, where my, um, here's where you can get your container if you want it, right there. And my Etsy store, guys, well, it's getting done here. Just one second. If you guys want to buy my soaps, they're on sale right now. What I have left. I don't have a ton in there. This is, I'm, I'm making this for my son's teacher for Christmas, but and it will be for sale. But I'm trying to get to January and get stocked up on some of my soaps. My blue skies that I had last night, I sold out of. I think I maybe have one bar left. So you guys are buying it quick. Okay, so now it's already soap. This is what soap looks like, but I want to color it and make it pretty and all that. So I'm going to let this cool for just a minute. And then I'm going to add my yogurt and my coconut milk. Uh, 
Well, Amber, I wouldn't say it's like a five-year-old kid Finley product or project, but I would say that it's like a 12 and older project if they're responsible and careful. My 14-year-old has made soap with me, um, and he knows, but I don't let my kids, you know, mess around with stuff like that too much. So, I mean, I don't let them horse around, I should say, when they're doing stuff like that. So, okay. So, I'm letting this one cool. I'm letting this one cool. I'm going to put my oils in for the next batch of soap and show you my mold. So, let me show you guys here. Okay, so here is my little cat mold, okay, that I'm going to be putting on top. So, it's just a... Um, um, ice cube tray. There's little kitties. Just pop them out. Okay. So let me get those out. Uh, Tammy, no, you can use just your kitchen utensils. Before I started selling soap, I just used my kitchen utensils. Some people prefer not to make soap with their kitchen utensils. That's your personal preference and it's fine, but it is just soap, so it's perfectly safe. Just wash your tinsels really well or put them in the dishwasher. Make sure you rinse them. Don't put them in the dishwasher when they're all messed up. You know, rinse all the soap stuff off of them. Okay, so here's what the mold looks like before. I didn't even get the tag taken off yet. Okay, so here's all my little kitties I'm going to put on top. And let me get my colors here. So I'm using white, pink, and black to make a gray. All right. Let me see where we're at on temperature now. <clears throat> All right. So now, oh, I'm gonna let it cool down just a bit more. I try to get it down to about 180 before I put my yogurt in so it doesn't burn my yogurt, but let me cool it down just a bit more. So my fragrance can be put in at 170, so I need to wait just a bit for that too. All right, Wendy, this is hot process soap. It does take longer. I'm going to be doing cold process here as soon as this one is done also. Um, yes, Lori, I got that yogurt marked down and so save me some money all right get it all scraped down in here so that it doesn't harden i'm scraping it so it doesn't scraping it so it doesn't harden on the sides because this is already soaked so it will get hard now um all right checking my temperature on my next batch of oils I'm there. Good. So as soon as I put my yogurt in, <clears throat> I put my stick blender in to soak real quick to get it off for the next batch so that there's not lumps in the next batch of soap. All right. Come on, baby. Cool down. Um, yes, coconut can be drying to the skin. Um, actually, Zena, this is way easier than dinking around with a crock pot. This is the only way I make hot process soap now. Um, and the soap's ready. You, we could use it now as soon as it cools, but I like to let the water evaporate for two weeks to make a harder bar. Okay. Now I'm putting in my yogurt and my coconut milk. Okay, got that. Stirring that in, and then we're gonna let this sit for five minutes while we put together our next batch of soap. It's not quite cool enough to put in my fragrance. Scrape down the sides.
and you can see, ooh, it's all nice and liquidy. Woohoo! Okay, here's my fragrance right here. Ooh. Ah, fresh flannel sheets. I've been dying to use this one since last year, and I just couldn't get it. Go to Rustic Essentials, please, Ellie, and look up flannel sheets and read the description for them. And you have to use the dad voice. You know how dad reads the descriptions? You have to do the dad voice. The dramatic TV voice. Ellie will read what this says it smells like. Okay, so I'm doing white, gray, and pink. Okay. Final sheets, fragrance, and a fresh linen and clean cotton type. A fresh linen and clean cotton type. And it really is. It smells so fresh. It just is yummy. Okay. So. This is going to be my gray. Um, so I'm mixing black with some white for that. No. And this is going to be my white. Okay, and my pink is right here, my lovely pink. Ugh. Um. For everyone asking about my uh, job, <laughs> I was offered an internship to work in parkour, so we will see. You were just a little excited, weren't you? She's been wanting a job in parkour forever. Yes, you have. You keep saying, oh, I would love to, but I'm just not good enough. See, you're good enough. They called you. I think that's pretty impressive. Isn't that impressive, guys? Tell her it's impressive. Okay, I want this a little more pink. How was your Chinese food? Was it delicious? Okay, so. Adding more mica. Okay, now I have fibromyalgia and I will say this does take a toll on the hands. Okay, so now I'm mixing my gray. Oh, perfect. Liking that, looking good. Ugh. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, got that mixed pretty well. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I might scrape down to the bottom of this one. It looks like there's some. Yeah. You want an Alka Seltzer? Yes, I do need an Alka Seltzer or eight or ten. Huh? Ah, oh, thanks, Jamie, you wonderful friend, you. Okay. So now I'm mixing. Whew. me? Well, depends on your definition of working out. You like actually have to be doing it for it to be working. <laughs> oh, it's doing good actually. I just can only eat meat and vegetables and it's kind of a and fruit. It's kind of like, where's the joy in the world? If that's all you can eat, that's what I'm wondering. But hey, okay. Ooh, okay. Now I'm getting pooped. All right, stir, stir, stir. Come on, Tara. You're almost there. You can go to the finish line. You can do this. Feel the burn. Feel the yeah, calories yeah. leaving your body. Oh, yes. Can't you mix it in with or the color with your stick blender? Um, I can, but at this stage, it's pretty stiff, and my stick blender is dying, so I could, and I probably should. But my stick blender has eucalyptus lemon on it and I don't feel like washing it so all right there we go now now the beauty with my new molds is when I do hot process I don't need to line it with anything okay I need to drink a cup of tea just one moment please ah, refreshing. okay 
So I am doing a <clears throat> pink, white, and gray swirl. All right. Okay, I'm leaving some pink for the top and some gray. Alicia said she has her logo done with the bummer. Yes, the bummer is the polite way of putting it. I agree. <laughs> did, uh, did you get new molds? I did get new molds, and I am testing them today, and I will leave a link if I love them. But I am pretty sure I'm going to love them. I can already tell. All right, get this off. All right, so then my white. Okay. All right, now I'm going to take a spoon and just stir it in. My friend Penny would love this. She likes cats and she likes pink. And I got her into making soap and now she's going soap crazy too. Okay. Order some patchouli, I think is how they say it, maybe. Um, I don't have any. I don't know. I don't like the fragrance myself, but everyone says they love it, so I need to just buy it. But okay, so let me. Oh, well, that's real good. I guess I didn't have my uh, thing on there real tight. Oh, great. I think we get bluebell ice cream. Yeah, we get bluebell. She said, um, Oh no, what did I do? Oh, Tara Jean. Oh, come on, baby. You gotta work with me. Why is it not going back together? Ah, oh, shoot. What am I doing wrong? See, that's what you get when you use a new mold live. Oh well, I can't get it back together, so let's just tighten it as best as we can. Okay, get this down here. Okay. Scrape. She said what? Sean said back to the old mold. Yeah. Okay, I think it's just user error because I don't know what I'm doing yet. All right. So. Here is that. All right, so now getting the white on. Get it scraped out. Has anybody left? Did they all abandon me? Um, they got sorry. tired. <laughs> um, all right, so this one's going for my son's teacher, but the leftover, the extra, not the leftover, but the extra bars that I have, I'll put on my store when I'm done. I am going to cut this tomorrow on my live show. Sorry, go ahead, Ellie. They're just all tied now with time. <laughs> oh, okay. So I am spreading the white. Wow, this smells really good. This is a nice, refreshing scent. It does feel, smell just like sheets, doesn't it? Man. I'm really liking the smell. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, I don't normally do it this way, but I'm going to try it. So now I'm putting some pink straight down the middle. Penny 
said um, as she read, but any notes coming in? To Denver? Yeah, they are. Can you imagine the lines waiting for that? Woo! I bet they'll be crazy. We have a pastor here at a church we used to go to, and he loves in and out. He's a funny guy. Okay, so now... Another spoon and kind of work this down. Okay. All right, so now let's see about kind of making a little curly Q thing here. Get some white mixed in. Okay. okay, so now let's flatten it a little bit. I just want it lightly <coughs> mixed in. I don't want it real. Okay, now for the little kitties. There's the kitties right there. Okay, these are the little kitties I'm putting on. Jack requested these because his teacher loves kitties. Wasn't that thoughtful of him? Oh, whoops. Where's that photo? So, is it cold there today? I don't know. Is it cold? I haven't been out since I took the boys to school. Yes. Is it? And he said the lines are horrible in and out. Yeah, are they? Yep. Okay, we won't be going to in and out. Where One, two, get three. Your color. Where do I get my colorants? I prefer rustic or um, I like uh, Nature's Garden the best for colorants. They're my number one, but you can get them at several places. Do you make dish soap or laundry soap? I make laundry soap just for us, but I don't make dish soap. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, woohoo, 16, all right, there's the little kitties, I hope their tail's not too far down in there, hope you can tell what they are, all right guys, there it is, thing so of cat soap. So let's see. Can you see? Can you see the kittens on there? Mm -hmm. Can you see Do that? Do they have faces? They don't have faces, but we could paint a face on there if you want. You want to paint a face on there? <clears throat> Wait, is it Mrs. An uh, is it her birthday today? Miss Maybe? Anderson. Is it her birthday soon? I don't think so. Um, I'm just gonna do it for Christmas. Okay. Do you want to cut it? All right. Um, let's everyone. line it up. Hold on. Okay. Very good. Ooh. Whoops. Hold you on. had one, one turn the other direction? Did you already okay. tell them what it was? So here's the little kitties. And this is called flannel sheets. Smell it. Does it smell Ooh. delicious? It does. It's really, really fresh. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Oh, Jessica okay. loves your hat. So cute. Okay, just a second. Let's measure. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Now leave it down. Wait. Barb, the temperature thing is a laser... It's a laser it? power laser thermometer. thermometer is that what you call it mm -hmm. it's a laser thermometer it is in our recommended we, we have a recommended store a store on amazon with recommended items and we okay, have it on. there so i'll share that in the comments if you want if Just you want it. to go see them there that's where we got it okay <laughs> and tara uses that mostly for soap but mike and the boys just like to play with it. <laughs> marlene says you did that cat soap yesterday you just made it yesterday yeah wow and, okay, so here's my announcement about the soap. Because Ellie says i got to get my life together. Um, I'm going to not make any more soap until January. Hold on. Then in January, I'm going to, wait a minute. I'm going to make up soap. Okay. I'm going to make up soap for the oils that I have left, and then I'm going to quit until we move. What? Move? Okay. There. Are we moving? Are well, we moving? We better move because I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> Oops. Um, Why are you overwhelmed? 
No, I just can't keep running up and down the stairs and all over the house trying to set up for a show, and it's just too hard. Maybe so we, I'm gonna. Maybe we could get. I'm gonna um, use up my oils in January and use those soaps. I'm finding out as you find out. Mom, what? <laughs> if you, if you don't feel like walking around everywhere, maybe you should ask um, someone to build an elevator in this house. Well, oh. that would be great, wouldn't it? Robbie, I will share the two-ingredient fudge recipe in the comments. or in the. Uh, it's also, I'm sharing it in the comments, but if you miss it there, you can go to our website, livingonadime.com, and it's the second one down on the front page. You know what you should do instead is bring two things, Tuesday Tara Tops. Tuesday Tara Tops? Where I just sit on a chair and talk. Does anybody want to hear what I have to say? Uh, we <clears throat> so we don't have any kind of coupon code for the book now, right? No, we had a our sale, sale is our... over. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's over. I yep. thought that was a Christmas sale. It was, it was but, but, but it was only. We have to do it early okay. because um, we won't get the book sh shipped in time. Oops. Oh, don't bring it back up. How? Melanie says, I want those cute kitty soaps. Please make more animal ones. Um, I have a little dog mold, too. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I don't know if we're going to move here or if we're going to move some other state or what. I did find a house here today that I'm going to go look at on Friday. If it's in Colorado but, and I can get to the school, earlier? then yeah. I don't care. I wish to move to Although, I don't know. For that price, seconds. could we build something even better? Probably. On that much on? property and such? I don't really know. Um, is it a house that Darren, I can still go to the same school? It is a house that you can go to the same <gasps> yeah. school. Darren was asking if the um, if the parcel arrived yet. No. Not yet. Is it mine? We'll keep an eye out for it now, though. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> can you go with me to look at it? You're going to be in school. Oh, I am? I'm sorry. Are you sad? Um, oh, that one you can see its foot. Look at that one. You can see its foot. <laughs> Jennifer said, I wonder if you could build a tiny house and use it strictly for cooking and soaping. <laughs> you could do that for a pretty good price. Well, I had thought about putting another shed in the backyard, but it would have to be pretty big. Um, and I don't think our HOA would allow that. We'd like to get away from the Homeowners Association and into a place where there was more um, space between us and the neighbors. So... Um. And there's that one. Another sample or two. Uh, yes. Robbie says, I like, big. I like the sound of that soap as the recipe for it on there. Uh, we have on. Um, yes, Mike, I will get you the share. Recipe. It's the one that says homemade olive oil soap recipe. I'm sharing in the comments. So you thought we should do a sample because that was kind of big, huh? Good, yeah. good looking, Jack. Can you bring me my other soap? So I just shared the recipe in the comments. Uh, I'll try to share it again what? in a minute Wait, in case you miss what? it. Which other soap? Right over there. And also, I oh. think it's on. We, we're starting a new page on our website, Living on a Dime, called Resources. Uh, so that if you can't find something in the comments, it will be there. And on the front page at Living on a Dime, in the menu, there's a thing that says Resources. Let me see if it's on there in the soap. Okay. 